Welcome back to another episode of Easy Peasy Labeling with me, Melissa. Today I am back with the Label Editor software program and I wanna show you one of my favorite features, just how to take your information from a spreadsheet, import it in the software, and use that to create and print your labels. You're gonna love this. Uh, so what we are going to do is I'm gonna show you how to make this label here. This is one of our part number labels. So you can see it has a product, a barcode. I'm gonna show you how to go about creating this label within the Label Editor software. So let's jump in. All right, so first you can see I've already launched the label editor software. And again, this is the new open screen that we're starting to become familiar with. So for this scenario, I am using my PX900 um, and I don't actually have a one or a half inch tape in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the get tape with button. So it's gonna read and it's reflecting that one and a half inch tape that I have in my printer. So I'm all good there. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can get to the import feature if you're already in the program and I'll show you those. But from here, if we're already at the new open screen, you can jump right into that feature from here. And you can see those are these two options here. So I can either import horizontal text or import vertical text just based on the orientation that you want. I want horizontal, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that, okay? Now it's gonna give you this option. You have two different options. You can import data or you can do new data. So import or load import data, that means I'm gonna browse my computer for a spreadsheet that I've already created and I'm gonna use that but sometimes people don't have a spreadsheet that they're pulling information in. They're just gonna freeform type it into the spreadsheet instead of doing that on a standalone printer. So you can do that. That's what that new import data is. That's just gonna give you a blank spreadsheet to work with. For this scenario, I'm gonna save you the trouble of watching me import the data and I'm gonna load the spreadsheet. So I'm gonna hit load and it's just gonna bring up your standard browse screen. So I can browse to where my label is saved or excuse me, my spreadsheet, this is the one I want. Great, so now you're gonna get this screen with two different options. You can add to current data or you can overwrite the data. Now for right now, it doesn't matter. I'm not working off of a template that I previously created or anything like that, so I can select either one. But sometimes people do wanna either add it to the previous spreadsheet that they were using before, or they just wanna switch it out from one to the next. I see that most frequently. Um, often we create one base template. I've done some really detailed ones for different panels and things like that. And the template stays the same. We're just changing the spreadsheet with the information from one job or one project to the next. So you can choose whichever applies for your application. And then you'll see there is a checkbox here for use the first row as the column header. Now that doesn't actually apply to my particular spreadsheet, but I like that you have that option. So if that is the case, you can check that box. Um, again, it doesn't matter which option I'm gonna pick right now. I'm gonna go ahead and just choose add to current data. And it's gonna give me a sample of my sheet. So you can hear, see here if you have multiple sheets on your spreadsheet, you can toggle between the different ones. You can select which one you need. For me, I need sheet one. And it's gonna just give me a quick glance at what that data looks like. That's correct, so I can hit okay. The software is gonna think for a second and you'll see that it pulls your spreadsheet into the program. Okay, so now um, the first thing I like to do is I like to kind of get my label parameters set up and then I can start designing my label, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is set the length. Um, now, if I wanted it on an automatic length, you can certainly do that. It's gonna make it as long or as short as you need to be. But for this example, these are a preset length. So I want them to be a set length. So I'm gonna hit that on the side here, tape length, and then I'm gonna select manual and I'm gonna set it to my length, just 2.5. And then you can hit enter tab and it'll go ahead and reflect that on your label. Okay, great. Now let's take a look at that label again, okay? There's two different bits or types of information that are on this label. One that I would call the static text. So that's gonna be like these little titles right here. Part number, description, that's not changing, okay? And then we have the variable text. That's the actual information that's coming from my spreadsheet and that's gonna be the information that changes from label to label. Okay, so I like to put my static text on my label first and then carry in my variables, okay? So now you could do anything you wanted for your static text. If you wanna put an image or a company logo or anything like that, you can design any um, you know, label you want. 
I'm gonna start by just doing the text. I'm gonna hit the A over here for text. I'm gonna bring it over to my label and I'm gonna start entering in that first um, static text field, which is part number. Okay, great, so I get that. And then if I click away, you'll see it gets the blue buttons. Um, and now I can go ahead and size my text. I can move it where I want it to be. And I can either do that using the blue buttons. I can click and drag the text to be the size I want. Or I actually know that I want this to be 12 points, so I can go over here in the text box and I can just set it to 12 point font. Perfect, okay? Now the next one that I need um, is the description. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that one next. And again, I could go over here to the A and click the text, but I'm lazy and I like to do as little work as possible. So I am going to just copy this part number. I already have it there. So I'm just gonna right click, do copy, and paste and put that on the label here too, okay? And then I can just change this to say description. That's what this one's gonna be. And a colon. Okay, great, so now I've got that. Now I do want my part number to be bold, so I'm gonna make that one bold. And then again, I can move these however I want on my label. I think that's about where I want them to be. I can scooch this one up. And again, you can use your arrow to move these around, your arrow on your mouse, or you can use the keypad, the up, down, left, right arrows on your keypad to move those different elements around however it fits. Okay, so now I've got those on my label, but how do I get the information from the spreadsheet onto my actual label? Nothing's happening here. Let me show you. So. Whether you have one column or multiple, all you have to do to get the information from your spreadsheet onto the column, or onto the label, excuse me, is just click your um, on the A. So you'll see in here we have, you'll see my mouse has turned to a little hand. So if I just put it on the top of the particular column that I want to drag onto my label, I can go ahead and click that. You'll see it grabs the hand, and then I can just drag it up here to my label and plop it where I want it. Okay, so again, I can move that where I want it to be. I want it right here. I can make this box as big or as small as I need it. And then this is gonna be a bigger element on my label. So I'm gonna make this text box a little bit bigger. And then I wanna make this font bold and I'm gonna bump it up. Let's try 22, that looks pretty good. Okay. Wonderful. So that looks good. We're starting to piece this together. Now you'll notice with this, so the box that I created, it has a little border around it. And then I see a small little A inside of that box. Don't worry, that stuff is not going to print. It's just showing you that that is the designated spot that we've put that information. And then the A is just giving you a little clue as to where that information is pulling from. So if I'm designing a really detailed label, I know that this information is coming from column A. Okay, so great. So I've got that on there. The next thing we want is our description. So another really helpful thing that I wanna show you here is I can adjust these viewing screens. So if I want my spreadsheet view to be bigger or smaller, you can see I just hovered over that. You'll get the little uh, arrows, the up down arrows, so you can go ahead and adjust that as you need. I'm gonna actually move this down just a little bit. And then same thing with the label as well. I can use the zoom on the bottom here to move my label either closer or further away so I can see it well, okay? So I like it like that, it's nice and big. And then just like you can in Excel, you can also change the columns to be different lengths if you need as well. So you can see I've just opened that up so I can see my descriptions. Um, and now I'm gonna drag this up onto my label. So again, I just bring my mouse to the top of the column click and drag it up there. Okay, and that's about where I want it. I'm gonna go up a little bit more. And then I want this text to be a little bit smaller. Actually, this is not the primary um, element on this label, so I'm gonna go ahead and make that one a little bit smaller. That looks good. And then another thing to just kind of be mindful of is did you see how that text box was just ever so slightly off the label? You wanna make sure that your text boxes are within your printable area because if it's off the label, it may fall off, fall off your label. We don't want that. So just make sure that they are within the printable area. And then for this one, I want the text to be centered so that if it's longer or shorter, it's still gonna be centered on the label. I just think aesthetically that looks a little bit better. And that feature is right here within our text alignment. 
So I'll hit that and you'll saw that it centered the text. Okay, great. So now we've got these bits of information, but wait a minute, Melissa, how do we get this barcode and why do you have two columns with the same information? Um, I did that on purpose because we can change this column, this column B, to be a barcode. It's really easy. All we have to do is have the information already in the spreadsheet that way. And then this little A here next to the column, that, if you click on that, this is how you can set the column attribute. So I can make this text, which it was. You can make it images, which will just show the path of where the image is on your computer. Um, or what I wanna do, which is set the barcode. So I can go ahead and do barcode and then select the desired format that you want. For this one, I'm gonna do code 39. Okay, so I select that, and then you'll see it changed that little icon up here to be a barcode. So I know that this column is going to be a barcode. And then it's just the same scenario to get it up onto the label. I just bring it up here to the column. I click and drag it up to my label, okay? Now that barcode is quite a bit bigger than I want it to be. So again, I can move it. I can use the blue buttons to size it. And then you'll see that it's displaying the text on here, which I don't want. I already have the, the number of the barcode information on the label, so I don't need it twice. So you'll get this little pop-up here. Um, and you see I have a checkbox here to display the text. So I can just uncheck that. Um, if you wanted to, you can also adjust the text size. You have some other adjustments that you can do here as well. And then again, I'm just gonna go ahead and size this so it fits on my label. One thing to be mindful of is you, you want to double check that your barcodes are going to be scannable. So I always recommend before you print 100 labels or barcodes, make sure that you know you print a sample one that it is going to be scanned properly. Um, but the software does recognize kind of that break point. So I want to just show you what that looks like real quickly. I'll just go ahead and squish this really small. And you'll see, did you see that? it changes it just to general text or even just a blank box where it's like, okay, I can't make the barcode that small. So I just wanted to kind of show you that. So if you see that, you know why it's doing it, but also to keep you um, just aware that you need to make sure that you give your barcode plenty of space to be readable. All right, perfect, this is looking good. Okay, so now we can do some other design layout type things if we want. Um, and the one, main thing I want to do here is I just want to make sure that the, the barcode is centered on my label. I think that's important. So I've got it selected here and then up on the top, do you remember in our previous videos I showed you that layout feature? So we're going to go up here to layout and align and I am going to go ahead and just center this um, vertically on my label so that it's in the center spot. All right, good. Now this looks great. Um, the label is exactly how I want it to be. Um, so now we can kind of preview and get ready to print. So there's two different ways that you can preview. You may have noticed as I click around on my spreadsheet, the information on the label is going to change to reflect that information. So I always like to do that ahead of time just to make sure that everything is looking how you want it to look and you're not gonna get any surprises when you go to print you know, this batch of labels. Okay, so I can do it that way. But we also have within the program, just above the print button, you see this little count here? This is another way that you can preview your labels. So again, I can use the arrows left and right to scroll through and it's gonna re change the information to reflect that particular one, okay? So that's really helpful as well. Now I promised that I would show you how to do import if you're already in the program. So there's two different ways that you can do that aside from the new open screen that we talked about before. So anywhere in the program, if you're in the general program, it has on the left-hand toolbar, it has this little import button. That is one way that you can get to it. So you can get, um, if you're in here and it, you're not an import, you can click that and it will bring you this data setting tab that we have here and allow you to import your information. And then you can also go up to File, Data, and Import that way. So again, just a couple of different ways to get to the same thing. You choose whichever way you like best. Okay, so now let's say I'm ready to print. So now when I print, I have two different options. I can print the whole spreadsheet. Great, all I have to do is push print. 
But let's say maybe I only wanna print a couple. Maybe I'm doing them in batches or I messed up a few. I just need a few of these particular labels. Um, so if that is the case, all you have to do is you see these little boxes next to our rows, one, two, three, four, five. You can check those boxes to indicate which labels you want to print. So again, if you're printing the whole list, you certainly don't have to sit here and check every single one. That would be silly. But only when you want to pick and choose which ones you need do you want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick two here that I want to go ahead and print. So I've checked those boxes and then I'm going to go ahead and hit the print button. Now you're going to get this screen. I call this the pre-print screen. So you can see your printer there. Um, if you hit print and you see this kind of abbreviated version of it, um, you can just hit this advanced setting and it will go ahead and expand the whole thing. Now this software is smart. It knows that we're using the import feature. So you can see it's already checked that box. But the thing that is important is you want to remember when you are printing only the few that you checked, we just need to click this box here. Okay, so there's two things to check. You check the labels you want and you check the box on the print screen to print the data checked in the data creation window. Okay, set your number of copies to whatever that needs to be. And when you're ready, go ahead and hit print. Okay, software is going to think for a quick second and then it's going to start printing your labels. So let's talk printing, okay? When you're printing, particularly with this feature, I would recommend I always use the half cut feature, especially for this. Typically when I'm doing this, I want them to be in order or I'm printing a big batch of labels and I don't want 50 different individual labels um, sitting or piling up on my desk. So I like that option. The half cut is really helpful for that, that it keeps everything consistent and in order. Okay, so now I've got my labels here. Wonderful, they look great. This is exactly what I needed. Awesome, I can go do my labeling. So that is one of my favorite features with the label editor software is importing the information from your spreadsheet. It saves so much time um, with that data entry. So if you have any questions on the label editor software or this feature in particular, please feel free to reach out to me. I would be happy to answer any of those questions and I can help you with designing these templates too. So don't worry, we'll get you there. Uh, if you have any questions, again, reach out. Otherwise, check back for another video and we'll catch you next time. Happy labeling!